hello, it is me again, the Silver Patriot. So, um, I just got this, uh, 2015 Silver Panda in the mail. It's, it's my first, uh, 2015 Silver Panda. Um, and as many of you guys know, uh, the 2015 is a unique year. Uh, and the reason is, if you look, uh, this is just an example of a 2012. Um, if you look... There's a weight, there's a purity on it, and it says it's silver. Um, you're not going to find that on the 2015. It doesn't say the weight, doesn't say the purity. Um, it is one ounce, and it is silver. Um, yeah, so, I actually haven't seen any YouTube videos. I, I've seen YouTube videos on the 2015 Panda. And they all seem very negative. Like, why why wouldn't they just include the year? And now there's a new 2016 Panda that came out, and it's 30 grams. And they they list that it is 30 grams. They listed silver now. Um, but I just want to get your guys' thoughts on uh, the 30 gram Panda. And do you guys think um? Do you guys think it's a really uh, good change, or do you guys think it, it's going to be a bad change for the Chinese panda? And I'll give you my opinion. I don't, I don't really like the 30 gram panda, and the reason is because I don't think the the price is going to go down. And so basically, I would be paying more money for less silver, and unless the price goes down like a little bit, but I don't think it will. And yeah, so. The reason why I got a 2015 Panda is because I love Pandas, first off. It's one of my favorite coins, and I, I should just get one of for every year. That's kind of my goal. I don't have the older stuff, and I'm trying to get one for every year that's labbed. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching, by the way. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.